Okay, run around, run around. <laughs> Everybody, Joy here, and it is a day. What day is it? It's Friday, and it's the day before Philly's going to come over, and we're going to have a play day. We haven't had a play day in a long, long time. And so I've been getting ready all day today for my play day tomorrow with Philly. And um, I wanted to show you what I've done. I am so tired. <laughs> Just forgive what I look like. And how nutty I act. I've been working all day long on this in between going outside and cleaning up after my dogs. I had to do the icky job today, you know, picking up all their lovely droppings from the rain. And, oh, that's all I can do to keep from gagging. <laughs> but anyway, if somebody told me I had to do that to have dogs, I might have reconsidered. I don't know. Um, anyway, I decided, you know, I've been making quilts. For the last few weeks you know i seem to whoever i'm hanging around with i seem to do what they do and so i've been hanging around with terry a lot for the last few months and she's into quilting and so it made me want to quilt again well now philly's coming over for a play day and philly quit quilting a long time ago and so i wanted to have something to do that we could do together so i got out my sure fit designs last night and i started looking through the book and i kind of got a refresher course on how you do it and so I made myself a new Sure Fit Designs blueprint today. So I have to show you. Oh my gosh, I think I put it away already. I can't show you the original blueprint. But the main thing is I had to use my new measurements. Now, the thing about my new measurements is they change moment by moment. And I am not kidding you. <laughs> I wake up in the morning and I'm one measurement. By 10 o'clock in the morning, I'm a different measurement. By noon, I'm a different measurement. By now, heaven only knows. But anyway, I took my measurements about 10 o'clock this morning. And I know that I need to make a smaller pattern because the clothes that I have are all too big for me. And um, these stretchy pants seem to fit me the best, but they're also baggy in the bottom. Of course, I don't have a bottom. You know, that doesn't help. But anyway, I've used my new measurements, which as of today are 40, 33, 40. Now, before I started my diet, I was 42, 36, 42, something like that. Now, the 33 measurement, because I'm making a blouse, I use the littlest part of my body. You know how they say you're supposed to bend over? and go by that part well my bendy over part is right here my pants and the my jeans come down lower than that as do most people's but when i'm making a blouse i have to figure my waist at the skinniest part of me so i figure my waist right here and it's 33 right here okay so i made my new blueprint made a front made a back made the sleeve and then i thought Oh, yeah, and this is what I'm making it for, by the way. Here's Betty Blue. That's why I'm standing here in this hallway. <laughs> Here's Betty Blue. Now, remember the butterflies I bought the other day at Hancock's? Because we have a fabric store here in Edmond. I absolutely love them. And then I already had some jewelry made, although I think I'll make something beefier for this blouse if, I, if it turns out. I already have some jewelry made that matches that piece. And then I already have some pink jewelry and a pink necklace. And... I made it. Why did I make it? I didn't have anything pink. I don't remember why I made it. I think I was doing Valentine things and I liked the pink bead, so I made some pink jewelry. Well, when I came here, this piece of material was on the bed. And I thought, ah, that'll look good with my pink jewelry. <laughs> so, I'm going to use these two pieces of fabric the black with the pink flowers and the turquoise with the butterflies. And that's what I'm going to make. I don't know which one I'm going to make first that will basically be my muslin. But I should have two new blouses by the end of this weekend that both fit me better because they're from my new measurements. So anyway, I thought, what can I do to make a style? You know, I'm pretty good at making the blueprints now, and so I like to make different styles. Well, my sister made this blouse not long ago. It was a new look pattern, I think, and it had a whole bunch of pleats in the front. I think it had four or five pleats in the front, and I don't know they were right under the bust or start at the waist or above the bust or what. 
but I decided to take my blueprint and add a bunch of pleats to it. So I'm going to show you what my, my pattern looks like from my SureFit design. So you can see it today in paper, and tomorrow when I make it, I'll show it to you made up. I have it hanging here in the hole. Let me get this piece of funky tape off of it so you can see it. Ah! That kind of tore. <clears throat> here it is. It's going to have a pleat up here at the top. It's going to be a V-neck, center fronts right there, and then it's going to have four pleats from here to above the hip somewhere. And so I put all of those pleats in. You know where I got this idea for my sister, but also, you know, Terry and I just made all those dresses for the missionaries, and they had pleats. And I thought, ah, I can make a pleat. I just did that in all those missionary dresses. So here's my pattern. I figure I've got enough material. So that's what I'm going to make tomorrow for my play day. So stay tuned. And I don't know. If Philly wants to be in a movie tomorrow or not, I never know. It depends on the mood she's in and how frustrated she is over her project. But um, if she wants to, maybe I'll make a little video and show you what she's doing tomorrow, okay? All right, that's it. Gonna let you go. Time to make a shake. <laughs>